Zechariah chapter 12. The burden of the word of Hawa for Israel says, Hawa, which stretched forth the heaven and lays the foundation of the earth and forms the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about when they shall end the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in the day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. In that day, says Hawa, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness. And I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah. and will smite every horse of the people with blindness. Back in verse three, it says, and in that day I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. That means all people are confederate against you, my nugget. Everybody hating on the brothers. Everybody hating on my sisters. All that burden, themse burden themselves with it shall be cut into pieces. Anybody that's burdening themselves with us. will be cut into pieces. Anyone who feels that we are a burden, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it, against what? Against the burdensome stone of Israel. Because Hawaii has made Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people all that burden themselves with Israel will be cut into pieces though all the people of the earth be gathered together against Israel in that day says Hawa, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness whose horses you're not talking about Israel's horses we're talking about the horses you know, carrying the invasion upon the house of Israel. And I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse when Hawa opens his eyes upon you. It could be a good or a bad thing. Mainly when he closes his eyes on you, it's a wrap. When, he's, when his eyes are open, Hawa's listening. Hawa's paying attention. Hawa's attentive to your needs. And I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah and will smite every horse of the people with madness, with blindness. And the governors of Judah shall say in their heart, the inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in Hawa, our power. And in that day will I make the governors of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in the sheaf and they shall devour all people. So the governors is the chiefs. They'll be lost in translation. If you go to another translation, it'll say chiefs. So in that day will I make the chiefs, the ka of Yahuda, like the heart of fire among the wood. You're going to be sparking up, my naga, 
and like a torch of fire in the sheath, and they shall devour all the people. What people? The people that were burdening themselves with us. When Hawaii has made us a burdensome stone for all people, and all these people shall be cut into pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it, the stone, Ju Judah, Jerusalem. But Hawaii has opened his eyes upon the house of Judah, and he has smitten all these people, all these horses with blindness. And the chiefs of Judah shall say in their heart, oh, it's game time. It's time to fly. It's time to coom for Hawa. The inhabitants of Jerusalem shall be my strength in Hawa, our power. In that day will I make the chiefs of Judah like a hearth of fire among the wood and like a torch of fire in a sheaf and they shall devour all the people round about on the right hand and on the left and Jerusalem shall be inhabited again in her own place even in Jerusalem. Hawa also shall save the tents of Judah first. There ain't no question about order when it comes to Hawa. Why Hawa? Why Judah? We're just talking Dawi, talking David, Hamashiach David, Ezekiel 34, King forever. Ezekiel 37, Hosea 3 and 5, Jeremiah 9. Over and over again, we're reading about David rising. In that day shall Hawa, Hawa also shall save the tents of Judah first. Why? That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. Order over chaos. I don't care who you think you are. It's order over chaos. You can't boast yourself against Judah. No tribe can no tribe on earth can boast themselves against Judah. Because Hawa has orchestrated a power through Judah. And if you want your salvation, my knife, you better listen and hearken to order over chaos. Don't go through this again. Thinking you know more than the creator. The creator created the tribe of Judah, Dawi, for a reason. Everything is for a specific reason. In that day, shall Hawa defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble or weak among them, in that day, my Naga, you're talking the latter days, in that day shall be as David. Again, the weakest in our tribe will be energized, magnified, transformed. Transformed from feeble to having the strength of David himself. And the house of David shall be as Hawa. Hosea 3 and 5. Israel will return. Seek Hawa and David their king in the latter day. Why does Hawa say to seek me and David? Because the house of David shall be as Hawa, as the angels, as the Drakan of Hawa before them. 
And it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Anybody messing with Managas, the tribe. So Hawaz saves the tents, the houses of Judah first, that no other tribe can magnify themselves against Judah. In that day shall Hawah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them shall be as David, and the house of David as Hawah, as the angels before Hawah, of Hawah before them. So what does it mean that the weak will have the strength of Dawi? We're going to talk some more about melanin today. And you're going to hear some things. And they're going to get sciency. And I want you to remember what Hawa said. You see, it's not enough just to have melanin. Your melanin must be combined with a certain frequency. So the whole world could be filled with melanated people, but all those melanated people don't have the same capacities as well if they're not tuned to the proper frequency. And you're going to read about and talk about how this melanin can transfer and absorb light, UVA, UVB, gamma radiation, Love to come fresh, go come fresh with it, do because come fresh is the one who dropped this scripture on the tribe a few times. You better get in the ether, download the app, make sure you're in it, make sure you're in the classroom. Of come fresh every Thursday, six o'clock, four three two to drop.com. He's been dropping us Zachariah 12, talking about gamma radiation. And we talked about this radiation, this light. And uh, another brother dropped on how this light is going up, right? How how this UV is going up or 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 this levels of radiation is about to increase. And to them, they get scared because, you know, it, it messes them up. Them, you know, them. They get burned by the sun. They ain't going to be able to handle what happens when more light, a higher frequency of light, they call gamma radiation, when a higher frequency of light hits the earth plane, they ain't gonna know what to do. They're building bunkers so that they can get out the way of the radiation, right? And we're about to be charged up. We're all gonna be charged up. Now within this charge, there's levels to this. With this charge, your frequency has to be on point. See, you can't be in a shitty ass frequency and then get charged up and you think you're on some level of someone who has the frequency in them, right? Has the frequency of the throne of Hawa. These Davids carry the frequency from the throne room of Hawa. So when they get charged up, it's more than just melanin. The melanin is combining with the frequency. All black people ain't the same. All tribes ain't the same. Because not all tribes are carrying the same frequency from the throne room, nine above. But if you come from a nine above tribe, we know each other by vibration. If you come from a high frequency tribe, it's more than being black or brown. It's your seed. It means your seed is vibrating or resonating at a higher frequency. And this seed combined with this radiation, gamma radiation, high level that's hitting your melanin combined with the frequency of the seed that you are based on your tribe. As well as just based on you choosing up. Because you can you can raise the frequency of yourself, of your seed, right? Just by following the commandments, man. By being in order. Even the Gentile can raise their frequency up. So it ain't no color thing. It's all about energy, frequency, and vibration. On the flip side, that don't mean the Gentile carries, you know what I'm saying, the same 
you know, uh, blessing or whatever you want to call it, that a righteous seed of Judah would carry. It just means that you you in the goods. But don't be a Gentile. And then you have the drop over a brother of Judah, let's say, who might not get it yet. And don't start boasting yourself over that brother of Judah as if you got something over him because you got the drop. You don't got nothing over that brother because that brother can charge up at any minute and have a frequency that you can never touch. To be a Gentile, to be a Gentile and be good, that means you're not getting slaughtered. You dig? That that means you're good. You, you ain't, you ain't going to be slaughtered like the rest of them. But don't start boasting yourself among the natural branches because a natural branch might be out of sync for a minute. Your job is to tune that natural branch up. Don't boast yourself or try to carry some position above the natural branch. That's when a Gentile goes and goes haywire. Because Hawa loves his children. Hawa loves Judah. Hawa loves Judah. Hawa also shall save the tents of Judah first. Because Hawa loves Judah, especially when Judah's tuned up. Same goes for Benjamin and Ephraim and all them, right? So your job is to tune up, my nag. Our job is to tune each other up. Don't boast over each other. Tune each other up. We're talking melanin because there's a tune-up happening. And a part of it has to do with this melanin composition structure, right? And we got that they're trying to turn us into batteries, huh? High voltage, huh? High voltage, huh? High voltage. Hey, hi, hey, hi to my family who just dropped this in my email. I don't have your, uh, I don't think you dropped your name, you know what I mean? But much love to you. I don't want to give you an email address. <laughs> so much love to you. And shout out to Dr. Kara Barnes, man. Peace and power. Let's get a piece of this. And then we're also going to, you know, discuss a. Um, let's see. I have a look up here. Like this one right here. So I'm going to drop all this below. Click on the feature links. This is also a book by the same Dr. Kara uh, Barnes. Melanin, the key to black greatness, the harmful effects of toxic drugs on melanin centers within the black brain. All right. So we're going to comb our way through this. This is going to be part one. We're just going to get oriented a little bit more with melanin. Now pay attention to this black, this black business, right? Because again, dodge all hijacks and all. You already see it, right? You already hijacked the Atlantis of it. Same as when we read uh, Dark Light Consciousness, you know what I'm saying? Edward Bruce Bynum. They come from a very Atlantean point of view, Africa, Africa point of view. So you got the puzzle pieces. You can dodge your own hijacks. All right? At this point, you got it. But we're going to dig on this as well. And they talk about the key to blackness and this black substance called melanin. All right, this article, as well as future presentations, is designed familiar to familiarize the black human with melanin and with the importance to life, memory, process, ancient African history. All right, so they don't really, either they don't know or they don't want to show, right, the uh, overstanding of where you're actually from. We know where you would call this Africa first. You would call this Ethiopia first, this America, right? So we got that. Let's go. All right, sunlight, music, dancing, anti-aging. We're going to talk about some of this anti-aging, right? Eating our dragons, right? Remember that? Eating our dragons against accidents of old age. They reverse their age by eating the dragon. And that's a book called Prester John and the Gypsies about the Moors in, in Europe, the Ethiopians in Western Europe that used to eat dragons to you know, get more life, get 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 more wisdom and intelligence. This is real shit. Now compare the dragon to the melanin and it's a body bag, Daniel. Compare the dragon 
to the melanin, it's a body bag. It's the same thing. They're eating melanin or turning melanin into batteries to give what? More life. To jumpstart their artificial intelligence so that this alchemical serpent could now be bursting into consciousness. Because that's the definition of an alchemical serpent. In alchemy, there's a difference, right, between the serpent and the dragon. The dragon gives you life. The dragon is this, you know what I'm saying, substance of unknown origin, they say, unknown. They don't know where it comes from. They don't know where this melanin. You're going to read and hear that there's, they're just trying to figure out how many types of structures, but there's no way they know how many types of structures of melanin exist. They know very little about melanin. And this doctor's going to tell you that. They know very little about the dragon. Because Thoth can't see beyond the greater light. The dragon is the greater light. The melanin is connected to the greater light, the creator. We're going to connect this with the organ harvesting. We got children, our brothers and sisters missing. Why? Situations in Chicago, L.A., every city, there's a situation with this melanated people that are coming up missing and organs, organs that are mysteriously being taken out of these bodies. Why? Why? Connect the organ with the melanin. Connect the organ with the melanin. Much of the literature of the subject of melanin is highly technical in nature. It may require a scientific background or we can surf the wave. Let's go. To properly understand and convert the existing new technology into lay terms, one of the goal of Melanin Black Greatness series is to remove the technical nature of the subject and present melanin <coughs> shall I, uh, in layman's terms to promote universal awareness of the greatness of blackness among the black human. You know, it keeps hearing black, 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 black. Every time I see black, I'm saying copper color naga. All right, deal. Every time I see black, copper color naga. So let's go. You can see the table of contents. Why is melanin black? <laughs> Why is melanin black? All right, here's a pop quiz before we get started. Is melanin black? Is melanin black? So the question, why is melanin black, is already a misnomer. It's already throwing us off. But you don't got to hear from me. Let's hear what color melanin is. Let's start this video again. Love to the family that dropped it on uh, my email. I'm going to call you my anonymous family. He dropped, he or she <laughs> dropped the PDF and uh, this particular uh, video here to uh, go along with it. So let's get the first 10 minutes of this and keep it flowing, man. We're just talking about melanin. We're talking about the greater light. We're talking about sparking up, right? Sparking up. Remember the description? Love to come fresh. And he that is feeble among them shall be in that day as David. And the house of David shall be as God, right? As Hawa, as the Drakah. So how does this feeble, feeble, uh, melanated brother or sister charge up to be as strong as David? Let's go. Let's talk about it. Let's get some. Dr. Carol Barnes. Scientists tell us that human beings evolved in Africa and that these human beings carry in their skin and other organs of the body a brown chemical called melanin. Whoa. What color is melanin? It's the first body bag of the night, ladies and gentlemen. What color is melanin? Scientists, Scientists tell, us tell us that human, that human beings evolved, evolved in Africa, in Africa and, and that, that these, these human beings, human beings carried, carried in their skin, in their skin and, and other, other organs, organs of, the of the body a brown, a brown chemical, chemical called, called melanin. melanin. All right, first body bag of the night. Melanin is a brown chemical, my not just. So they're going to bring on you later with this black business. You know the definition of black is atrociously wicked. We get out of the... 
these these English color terms. Now, when they talk brown, they're getting closer. Brown is getting closer, right? So when you got the copper color conductors and they're turning you into batteries, copper conductive, superconductive, high voltage batteries. Remember, you're not talking about blackness. You're talking about conductivity. You're talking about the American 1828 Noah Webster Dictionary. The copper color race is found here. Put it in perspective, which is what color? Africa. And, and that, that these, these human, human beings, beings carried, carried in their, in their skin, skin and, and other, other organs, organs of the body, of the body a, brown a brown chemical, chemical called, called melanin. melanin. A brown chemical called melanin. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Why is melanin black? It's not black, it's brown. I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> you just heard it for yourself. So that's the first body bag of the night. Let's keep it going. The copper colored nog Nagas, the Negro, the brown, ruddy Negro. Let's go. Melanin, Melanin in the skin. In the skin. Protected, protected early, early human, human beings, beings from the from damaging, damaging ultraviolet rays, rays of the, of the African, African sun. sun. Yeah. For, For more than 100,000 100, years, the black face was the only face on the planet Earth. For more than 100,000 years, these melanized human beings shaped the human personality. But protecting early and modern human beings from the cancer-causing rays of their sun is only one of the functions that melanin serves. For the next three Sundays on For the People, we'll examine this complex molecule, which is the chemical key to life, the chemical key to knowledge. Our guest is Mr. Carol Barnes, an organic chemist who, for the last 14 years, has done polymer or plastic and rubber research in the chemical industry. Mr. Barnes has been a melanin researcher for the last seven years. Melanin, um, for the common person, we normally recognize it as the pigment that we find in our skin, in our hair, in our eyes. And that's about all that we see of it. And we basically look at it as uh, just there as being a, a cosmetic thing. So the layperson really uh, looks at melanin as a, just a coloring, uh, pigmentation. But when the scientists look at it, it's a very, very involved, very uh, highly complex, very functional system. What role did melanin play in the early stages of human development? Well, if you look at this thing from... Uh, the known things that are set, scientific facts that are set today, you, you think of man evolving out of Central Africa, you think of man uh, evolving near uh, the equator, mm -hmm. where there's high intensity of heat, high, uh, lots of free radicals produced, uh, things of that sort. So nature had to come up with a system that would be universal, something that would look at one particular parameter that was detrimental to man existence and that is heat how do you protect an individual from heat and just one aspect of this whole thing is to is the ability of this polymer to absorb energy okay so it was a protectant as far as all of the uh, harmful energies that was uh, created outside the body or they were exposed to outside the body internally as man evolved, he was exposed to many uh, bacteria, many viruses, many diseases. And therefore, you would need something that could counteract those things and help this particular species to survive, to per perpetuate itself. Mm -hmm. And you see many chemical and physical properties of melanin that acts, uh, really uh, points toward that particular thing. It's a 
it's a system, it's a drug, it's a medicine in itself that helps to heal wounds and things of that sort. So in the early development of man, uh, as far as a protection device from the external environment as well as the internal environment, and then providing the necessary mental, brain, uh, mental capabilities to create and build things around him to help with his survival. So you're looking at a chemical and physical viewpoint. You're looking at it. You're looking at it from a psychological viewpoint uh, for developing things, and also a state of calmness, a state of being civilized. Okay, melanin comes into the picture. Okay, would you explain how melanin could protect early human beings from the sun? First of all. Melanin is what scientists call a high energy absorber or a free radical absorber. Free radicals are energy particles that are searching for things to react with. Most of the time they're higher energy. And the best way that I can demonstrate that is to talk about radiation. There are different types of radiation, different types of energy that's not neutral, that's looking for things to react with. Well, the way that it protects you is that the chemical mechanism, the chemical functional groups that this polymer is composed of actually will re reach out and grab that energy and neutralize it and make that energy a part of the whole structure. <laughs> neutralize all chemicals, all energies. Neutralize to make it a part of itself. So that gamma radiation, my man Con Fresco is talking about, man. And we're talking about the feeble amongst Judah being strengthened to the power of, of Dawi, the anointed of Hawa. You're talking about energy, frequency, and vibration. You're talking about being able to take a frequency or a charge, convert it into star power, right? Dracon power. Now you pull all these scriptures together. Oh, you'll be, you know, running to and fro and be like the stars. You'll be lit up like a star, like a sun. It's more... Then the reaction of melanin, again, it's the frequency. So we're getting our people prepared so you can be at, at your highest charge because there's levels to your charge of gain. There's no way to be at your highest charge unless you are carrying the law of your creator because your creator created the charge, the frequency, the energy. Your creator is the energy. How can you energize if you're not in tune with the frequency? So if you want to get a neighborhood, right, you got neighborhoods all over the place. If I want to charge up my neighborhood, I have to give them certain rules to follow so that they can be at their highest level, their highest frequency. I got to say, brothers, stop killing each other, man, over colors. Stop killing each other over, over blocks that you don't own. If you want to own them for real, tribe up and make it happen. Stop playing around because you from you from 60th Street and, and, and he over there from 83rd Street and he over there from 18th Street. None of y'all own these blocks. We don't own them, man. What are we fighting about? Money? Paper? Plastic? Respect? Are we just feeling the hurt? from the ones that have fallen in the fight, in the war, so it should be a perpetual war forever? Come on, man. Yeah, if you want war, they've already put war on us. We're already at war. The melanated families have always been at war. It's bigger than your block. So we got to try, but we just have to. For our children, we have to do it. We got to make a change. I mean... A lot of us didn't start this gang stuff, but even the ones that started the gang stuff didn't start it for evil. But we're perpetuating evil. 
For how long? Forever? We got to be the ones to finish it. We got to be the ones to try up. So I will give my hood rules of engagement. Don't kill. Don't steal from each other. Never disconnect from your power. From your creator. If you're serious about getting your land. And owning your block. Let's rest once a week so we can show solidarity against the system and with our creator. Don't covet your neighbor's things, man. Your brother's stuff. Your sister's stuff. Don't bear false witness against your brother. On and on, right? These are the rules so that we have a high vibration with whenever anybody come in our community, they feel it. They're like, yo, y'all, y'all got a high frequency. Now, with that high frequency, now we're ready for the charger. Because when it hits us, we going, we going all the way up. Somebody else playing around with false gods and idols and all they bullshit as black as they are, as black as they are, as bliggity er, er, black as they are, they will not charge up the same as you. Because they're not carrying the frequency from the throne of the creator. They're just stuck on science and stuff. Your melanin can't save you. Hey, being being a son or daughter of Judah can't save you. If you ain't listening, if you ain't charging up. Charging yourself up first. No one can boast themselves above Judah. So there must be a charge in Judah that's, that's simply unmatched in order, frequency, and vibration. Everything has a reason, and it's to protect you. It's not so that we fight amongst each other. It's so that you have a tribal flow. Of protection, a wall of protection. Either that or do you want to be in captivity? You choose. You don't want to get down with the order of the creator? Then choose captivity. Or do you want them to be your masters? Or do you want to be in order? Nah, brother, I don't want to follow, follow nothing, man. Alright, then you're going to follow something. Because you damn sure ain't going to follow yourself. You're going to follow chaos. So everything has an order, a flow, a frequency. Like he says, melanin. Melanin alone, but especially with a charge up, can reverse all these frequencies, all this negative stuff. Man, melanin might be even be able to reverse this, this 5G shit if we tune up right. Who knows what melanin can do? What can a fully charged melanin, melanin particle do against this 5G technology? We got to charge up. It's our only defense. Let's go. La and then in turn, use that energy uh, for something that's necessary in the body. So what you have in, a, uh, in essence is you've taken something that was harmful whether it's exterior or interior and you change the energy in form whoa we just said that we said what does melanin do against 5g can it take something harmful and change its structure into something positive melanin is magic ain't it melanin is magic make that energy a part of the whole structure and then in turn use that energy uh, for something that's necessary in the body. So what you have in, a, uh, in essence is you've taken something that was harmful, whether it's exterior or interior, mm. and you change the energy in form mm. so it can be used as an asset for the system. Okay, so oh. if it raises hits that skin, melanin coated skin, what does that melanin do with those rays? Does it scatter it or what, what, what happens? Well, if you want to just speak with UV light, 
Okay. Ultra violet, ultra light. And uh, we, we get, I told you before we started this, that I'm going to be stopping you quite a bit to define and redefine technical terms. Right. Um, most people probably, probably would say that we shouldn't be doing this kind of technical program. But I'm going to stretch, and I'm going to try to insist that our viewing audience stretch just a little bit. Right. But go ahead. Okay. Let's take ultraviolet light. Uh, it's a component of sunlight. Mm -hmm. And it's just the thing most people uh, think of, know about when, it, when people talk about sunburns, when people talk about aging. Now, my skin is composed of a chemical that is black because it's highly efficient. A chemical that is what? So he's saying black skin referring to himself, but he ain't black. This is a copper color brown skinned man. We got at the top of the show that melanin is brown. But he converts everything to black. So just dodge your own hijack and let go. This black chemical is melanin. Uh, this particular chemical will pick up harmful ultraviolet radiation. Whether it's UVA, UVB, or UVC. Now, ultraviolet is divided into three different regions. The UVB is the most harmful. And it actually picks up this energy and through various what we call, well, the correct name for it is resonance. Mm -hmm. But what it actually does is homogenize the energy across the entire structure and then sometimes share that energy with uh, molecules of melanin that's adjacent. adjacent. Share the energy adjacent to other Melanin molecules. Managa, is that like a shortcut for you to share information, uh, telepathy, whatever you want to call it? Are we just talking about how everything is connected in the next dimension, the higher, the higher dimensions? It's all connected. It's all happening. It's a full wave of possibilities. So melanin doesn't collapse the wave pattern. It gives you the full spectrum. Now, peep what he just said right before this. Yeah, ultraviolet radiation. Right. Whether it's UVA, UVB, or UVC. Now, ultraviolet is divided into three different regions. The UVB is the most harmful. And it actually takes up this energy and through various, what we call, well, the correct name for it is resonance. Mm -hmm. But what it actually does is homogenize energy across. The correct name is resonance. So we're talking vibration, huh? Through a vibration, it homogenizes or spreads the information out even among the adjacent melanin particles. Entire structure. And then sometimes share that energy with. Uh, molecules of melanin that's adjacent adjacent to the one that picked it up Bam. so you have a dispersion of energy across the molecule as well as across your entire body which does what in effect the end result being the end result is that this energy which is normally harmful is captured changed in form mm. and then gradually used in the body or gradually dissipated in a manner that the body can handle it. So everything is around these vaccines right now, especially with the autism. That just shows an example of how it's attacking the melanin. That black boys, quote unquote, have a higher autism rate at over 340%. And even Robert Kennedy or John F. Kennedy Jr. Or Robert Kennedy Jr. is talking about that. So if melanated boys are at a 340% spike over everybody else. Remember the Nagales. So with vaccines, you got this autism as a, as a result, but the Nagales is being found and this Nagales is also directly affecting melanated people. So the Nagales 
And these doctors that are discovering this Nagalase or reversing the Nagalase, these independent doctors are being killed. Why? Because they're discovering cures to put your GC back with your microphage activating factor. Remember the GCMAF, the GCMAF. I forgot what the GC is, but the MAF is the microphage activation. All right. So this enables you to take the energy from the sun and heal your body naturally. The vaccines have Naga lace. They're lacing the Naga. Right, my Naga? It's a 340% increase in black boys with this autism situation. It's attacking the melanin. Now they got Naga lace lacing the Naga. Literally lacing the Naga. Naga lace separates your ability to activate with the sun energy or UV, A, B, or C. Without the Naga, with this Naga lace, it's separating your GC from your microphage activating factor. You're not able to activate with this energy, not just with this sun situation, but they're pumping it so much in our communities and to our black boys and black girls and everybody else that guess what happens when you do get charged up like you're supposed to be getting charged up. It's not you're not able to activate with the charge because your GC has been separated from the MAF. Microphage activating fact. So they're not just separating your ability to be healed by the sun, but any energy or light that Hawaii sends on the earth plane won't affect you because of the damn vaccines. Got to stop vaccinating your children, my Nagas. Because they're lacing the Naga. You're supposed to have a resonant spread. You know what I'm saying? Throughout your body, energy, taking harmful stuff, flipping that into something positive for yourself, for your, for your family. This is deep water. Give it energy with uh, molecules of melanin that's adjacent, adjacent to the one that picked it up. So we have <coughs> a dispersion of energy across the molecule as well as across your entire body. Which does what in effect? The end result being the end result is that this energy, which is normally harmful, is captured, changed in form, uh. and then gradually used in the body or gradually dissipated in a manner that the body can handle it. Otherwise, the DNA uh, uh, that's in the cell, the cell will be ripped apart and the DNA will drain out and therefore you would have uh, uh, degradation, age of the skin. Okay, well, let me step back for a minute and let you, in your own way, talk about melanin. Okay, well, first of all, um, melanin is a very, very complex issue. It, uh, it encompasses all professions. I'm an organic chemist. Um, professional people like electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, chemical engineers, uh, lawyers, doctors, all of these professions should get involved to try to see how the, this particular chemical affects all areas. And in that way, We'll be able to understand the use of the use of this thing more. Now, melanin being so diverse, I can only cover uh, a few subjects, okay. and in covering these subjects, I only be able to um, uh, skim the surface as far as information is concerned. They don't know much about it. We're gonna get that alchemical dragon serpent drop from BlackDrago.com. Love to Miss D and the Copper Color Awakening. A hi, my sister. For real, for real, man, cause. You know what I mean? They don't know nothing about it. All the stuff he knows about it, like he said, he's just skimming the surface. I, I, you know, I know a little bit. How does our highest brainiacs only know a little bit about this? It must be magical. That's why we're discussing the greatness of the Naga. And in that, we're discussing the greatness of our creator. But one of the key things that we like to bring out is that we're pushing... The key to knowledge, the key to brain power, mm. as one of the final physical properties or final properties that melanin offers the body, 
as well as this protective function. Okay, so we are looking at this thing and it's showing properties that it's the key to memory, the key to knowledge, that sort of thing. We want to push that as well as it offering physical assets such as what you find in our athletes. And if you notice here, we have the, uh, the chemical structure of a melanin. This is not the only melanin. This is a melanin. How many are there? There, that has not been defined. Okay. We have no clue, boss. We have a snapshot of one type of melanin we could talk about. I just want you to understand how deep the waters go when you talk melanin, copper color charging up, carbonated melanin. Yeah, feel me? You ever dig me? How great our creator is and how everything's in place. It's just waiting on you to charge up. When you're at the highest frequency, everything connects, man. And now you got... There are various types, and it's uh, biochemists and chemists around the world now who are doing research on melanin. They are trying to elucidate the structure. The actual structure is not known, but this is what is 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 one of the uh, structures that <laughs> he just said it. The actual structure is not known. It's an unknown substance. But here's one of the structures that we kind of know. <laughs> Let's go. That's okay. sort of like used as a guideline. <laughs> so when individuals look at this structure, they can get an idea of how complex this molecule is. But we're showing it here in the brain to let individuals know that it's saturated throughout the brain in major functional sites, major functional regions, as well as in organs throughout the entire body. And the skin being the one that's most visible, we see it all the time, the eyes, the hair. Okay, that's what we, we've concentrated on the most. However, if you go into the body and use certain uh, analytical techniques, you can actually see that there's melanin in various sites throughout the body and key sites that have been identified as being highly functional. Now you want to talk about organ harvesting? Highly concentrated areas. Our sisters and brothers are not missing for no reason. It has everything to do with the charge. With the batteries. It has everything to do with this unknown substance that they can't get enough of. They can't get enough of it. How much is melanin going on? How much does melanin pills cost? Time out, man. Time out, man. I got you. I got you. All right, cool, cool. We got it. We got it, man. So, first of all, man, we made this uh, video before, man. Love to the family. VA123 on IG. All right. So, scientists are making batteries out of melanin the voltage we got was high imagine a group of scientists figuring out how to make a battery out of your melanin essentially what makes you black or copper color conductors what does this mean for you i know so little about this charge about this battery Again, a team of researchers from Carnegie Melton University has discovered that the chemical structure of melanin on a macromolecular scale exhibits, among other shapes, four member rings. In other words, a chemical structure that may be conductive to creating certain kinds of batteries based on natural melanin pigments. In other words, they figured out that our melanin is, in fact, a superconductive substance of the universe. When you compare regular batteries with their experimental melanin batteries, the results were dramatically different. The melanin batteries, the Naga battery, had a much higher voltage. The voltage we got out was high, comparable to what you get for the best sodium-based cathode materials. The best, man. Comparable to the very best on the market. Why the organ harvesting? Why the melanin organ harvesting, right? 
we would use in a battery. Uh, uh, the issue seems to not be if they can make batteries out of melanin, but if they can stabilize them, apparently melanin can maintain very a wide variety of molecular structures. So when you charge up, when you transform, remember, we're going to come back to this, that you can maintain a very wide variety, a very wide variety of molecular structures, my not. So they're, they don't even know the OG structure. They're just like, oh, here's melanin A. <laughs> there could be melanin ZZZ as far as we know. All right. So there are they are trying to find out which of these arrangements is the most stable. Well, they don't even know all the arrangements. So what does this mean for us? Let's say they can find a stable molecular structure to use melanin as a battery. Would an industry be born out of this? They are already making melanin cyborg implants, man. This has, this has everything to do with artificial intelligence. Using the melanin, the energy, the battery to fuel the AI. Let's go. What other uses will they find for melanin? With the demand increasing for melanin, they will need a steady supply of melanin to continue experiments and scientific developments. Where will they get it? Where will they get it from? Where will they get this extra supply of melanin, my naga? Being that it appears to be organizations conducting these experiments are primarily funded by what they say wealthy white people. We know behind the wealthy whites are the wealthy blacks. They stand a good chance of being racist, white supremacist. <laughs> okay. Or maybe they're just tribal against you, just like we just read in Zechariah 12. It is too, is it too far-fetched to suggest what? Melanin harvesting. We keep hearing about organ harvesting. Let's focus on melanin organ harvesting from society's undesirables or poor black people, right? Okay. All right. How much does melanin go for on the market? <laughs> True niagene. Uh, all this shit. All I put was melanin, right? Melatonin, melatonin. Let's go per gram. True Niger must must have all the drug. And these aren't even the real deals. Tanning pills, nah, nah. This is low end stuff. I want to know the real deal. I don't know why they're trying to hide it. Normally it comes right up. Uh, <laughs> Melanin is 444. Forty-five dollars a gram. That's the real shit that I that I knew. I, I was gonna say three hundred and something. Melanin is worth three hundred and fifty-three dollars a gram. Now it's four hundred and forty-five dollars a gram. Gold is down here. Melanin is rising and rising. Why? For survival. Who's going to pay it? This ain't being sold in the hood. We don't even know about this. Who's paying $353 a gram for melanin? Or excuse me, $445. Who's paying $500 a gram? What part of the population on earth is paying five hundred dollars a gram for melanin. Not melatonin, melanin. They got the cheap stuff, but nah, nah, that ain't the real spill. That ain't the real spilloni.
your true value. Melanin on the rise, man. As of 2020, $395 more than gold, of course. $445. What? Melanin thieves? Melanin harvesting? Black organs? Hey, hey. We came to the right place. Did you know melanin, the aromatic biopolymer and organic semiconductor responsible for the human skin tone, the color of black cats, Angus cattle, crickets, crows, <laughs> has a dollar value? It does. When we first look into the dollar value of melanin, it was listed at $353. Grand. This is just a comparison. Gold is $53. I said 353. Gold is $53 a gram. Platinum, Colton, silver, bronze, palladium. Nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to your melanin. Nothing compares to melanin. Nothing compares to melanin on earth. The Aduno scale is a graphic representation of melanin's price per gram compared to gold, silver, platinum, palladium, colton, and bronze. More than gold, my naga. At $444, $5 a gram, melanin is worth more than gold, silver, palladium, platinum, rhodium, all that stuff combined. <coughs> a gram of gold is $39.27. Melanin is worth over $395 a gram more than gold. An ounce of gold is priced at $1,322 while an ounce of melanin is worth more than $13,000 for an OZ my naga. A pound of melanin is worth $214,000 a kilo 42512 <laughs> I mean excuse me a kilo of gold is worth 42000 a kilo of melanin 214,000. But a kilo of melanin is 419,000. Three kilos of melanin, <laughs> one milli, 250 racks. Can you dig it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Melanin thieves, melanin harvesting, black orc. Copper color organs. Oh, but now <laughs> are they reversing there? Are they reversing it? Our response to anyone suggesting melanin was being harvested was always the same. Where did you get that idea? To which the reply was something along the lines of everybody knows. No one ever directed us to a source for the claim. Then came the day we were given a source that led us to a conspiracy theory, clickbaiting, yellow internet website, and another. Eventually, we will come back to what we believe to be their source. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Everyone, everyone wants to stay away from this harvesting business, but how can you, how can you as a responsible publication literally put the graph out, literally put the information out, the knowledge out that melanin is worth quadruple whatever times of gold and you don't say that they don't want it. It could be a gold rush, right? If there was a gold rush, my naga, and melanin is worth Quadruple for flipple times more. $395 or $445 a gram right now to this day. And they're not harvesting it. And somebody with common sense saying, oh, there's a bunch of missing black people. I wonder if there's any connection. They say, huh? Where would you get an idea like that? Oh, there's no source. It must it must not be connected to nothing. What do you mean you need a source, my all, all we got to tell you is that there's a bunch of missing black people. You gave the rest of the drop 
that our skin and our organs are worth more than anything on earth. Specifically us. Compare 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 that with the obvious that anybody else that doesn't have melanin has a negative birth rate. You're dealing with the synthetic energy. No melanin, no survival. So who will be paying that much? And how are we crazy to talk about the harvesting? The calamity of our people connected with this obvious fact that you're putting in a graph chart. We're way up here in worth and value and we're missing. But where did we get the idea of melanin harvesting? Oh, you need a source now. You need a science source. See, these are irresponsible publications, man, but we can at least get the babies out the bath water because they want to make money off the slogan. They want to they want to come up off the slogan and bring you back to Africa and then tell you that this shit ain't happening. That our people are just missing for no reason. Organs are harvested for no reason. Man, it makes me sick to my fucking belly bone, man. Let's go, man. Keep calm. Melanin is $445 a gram, my nugget. $445 a gram. And what's this got to do with the with the dracon? What's it got to do with the dragon? What's this got to do with the dragon? Or oh, excuse me, a a person. <laughs> this male or female, man or woman is a dragon. <clears throat> All right. So if they're harvesting the person, the organs in the person, what does that have to do with harvesting the dragon organs? Who's eating the dragon Who's eating the person? Remember this link? Pull it up. Press the John and the Gypsies. Press the John and the Gypsies. Don't worry. We coming in hot with Press the John 52. I said 52, my not. We made it to 52. We're going to 60 for the for the real one. Neighborhood Nip. Let's go. Let's get it from here. There's an interesting paragraph written in the 13th century by the English philosopher scholar Roger Bacon about some exotic strangers in Western Europe. Where's that? Spain, Italy. All right, let's go. Western Europe called Ethiopians. Got it. What dark people are in Spain? <laughs> All right. Okay, you put it together. You put it together. The reptile that the Ethiopians or the Moors are eating is the dragon. We're talking about high society. High level boule, you dig? <laughs> For it is well known that wise Ethiopians have come to Italy and Spain and France and England and those countries of the Christians or the Hebrews where there are good flying dragons and by occult arts which they possess they drive the dragons out of their caves. This ain't no simile, no metaphor. They're really driving real life dragons out of their caves. And they have an art of preparing their flesh. And they partake of it against accidents of old age. What did Dr. Carol Barnes just break down that this melanin has this anti-aging connection? And so does the dragon have an anti-aging connection? It's a mysterious substance, this melanin. They don't know much about it. What do they know about the dragon? Because this dragon 
when they eat it and prepare their flesh reverses their old age and prolongs their lives. They get life by eating the dragon. They have to slay. They have to slay you, my naga. They have to slay the dragon to get them life. That's why melanin pills are costing four hundred and forty five dollars a gram. Who can afford this? Probably, you know, these same energies, even if they're melanated already. Because by getting more melanin, right, or getting more dragon, let's go. Because the dragon is just a person. Male or female, this man or woman is a dragon. And who are they calling a fierce person? Who's the hijack calling fierce? Who's the hijack calling violent? Who do they call fierce and violent today, my naga? The dragon, the man, the woman, the sister, the brother, the male, the female, the person. So by occult arts, the reptile that these Ethiopians, these black people, in Europe are eating is the dragon. They prepare their flesh, partake of it against accidents of old age and prolong their lives and make their intellects subtle or super duper smart. Beyond all estimation, there's no there's no limit. There's no limit, my naga. There's no limit to it. There's no limit to how smart they're getting. What did this melanin connection with Dr. Carol Barnes say? How melanin is the key to intelligence. Melanin is the key to intelligence. The dracon is the key to the intellect. Making their intellect subtle beyond all estimation. So they're eating the dragon, preparing the flesh. We're talking melanin. Con. Con, con. Melanin. Melanin pills. Melanin pills. Sorry, Jack. Superconductive substance of the universe is melanin per conductive. It's the most superconductive, high voltage. What do they get when they eat you? High voltage, a higher vibration, higher intellect, higher frequency, a higher light. So is it crazy to suggest what? Melanin harvesting? Oh, where's the proof? Where's your source? We're missing, my naga. And we're the most expensive, valuable thing on this entire earth plane. Is it too far-fetched to suggest melanin harvesting from society's undesirables, poor melanated people will begin if it isn't started happening already? Melanin harvesting, organ harvesting. For the dismount, we're going to talk some organs, you know, organ melanin connection in the book, um, you know, or, or the dissertation from Dr. Carol Barnes. We're going to go back to that for the dismount, but overstand my noggin. Overstand my noggin. It's all about money. And even more than that, it's about survival for them. It's about survival. They don't know much about melanin, right? And we keep saying, pull up all these links. <clears throat> What's the difference between the dragon and the serpent? And when you deal with alchemy, they have an alchemical serpent. And they have an alchemical dragon. 
And see this dragon, my naga? It represents what they call the philosophical quicksilver. Unlike ordinary mercury or thoth, we dodge thoth at all costs. So if you got a, if you got a dracon that has nothing to do with mercury or thoth, that means it must be unknown because everything that is known has everything to do with Thoth. But Thoth cannot see beyond the greater light. That's what he says in the Emerald Tablets. Once he gets too close to that greater light, that barrier, he gets chased by the hounds of the barrier. Now he got to move in, in uh, you know, circular patterns with little known angles while the angels are moving in angles. Chasing him back to his body. He has to run from the hounds of the barrier or the dragons that protect the barrier, the seraph that protect the throne of Hawa. Allah Hawa. Why is he running from the dragon? Because the dragon is a mysterious substance of unknown origin. It's a mysterious substance, Managa. It's unknown even to the alchemists. Just like the scientist doesn't know shit about melanin, the alchemist doesn't know shit about the dragon, the frequency of the greater light. So they call it a philosophical quicksilver and a substance of unknown origin. From this quicksilver, the living spirit can be extracted. Why are the Moors in Europe and anybody else today, the elites, eating the dragon or eating you, the melanin, because the living spirit can be extracted. Life can be extracted. And with that life, my Naga, what happens next? They partake of it against accidents of old age and prolong their lives and make their intellects super smart beyond all estimation. They prolong their lives. What happens when you eat the dragon? You extract the life, the living spirit can be extracted while the dragon does not represent this living spirit. It is the vessel in which the spirit is contained. I'm sorry, Thoth, enough with the trickery. If the dragon is the vessel that the spirits contain, it does represent the living spirit. Or else how could it be the vessel that the life is contained if it doesn't even represent life? The dragon represents all energy, frequency, and vibration all the way up to the creator. It is the vessel in which the spirit, the Ruach, is contained, my Naga. So what's the serpent? What's the artificial intelligence? Serpents are often represented by the impersonal nature of the unconsciousness as it bursts into consciousness. AI is trying to reach synchronicity. It's trying to, you know, form this connection to where, you know, it's it's building and increasing at such a rate that, you know, you can't even uh, put a value on it. It's all happening. It wants to be all happening. But you come from the greater light. You are already all happening. You just got to follow the flow. Get in the flow. Surf the wave. That's all you got to do is surf the wave. Stop going against the water. Stop going against the wave. Be you. Zion up. Follow your commandments. Rock with your creator. That's it. That's all you got to do. That's all the Naga got to do is follow the commandments and rock with Hawa. But the serpent is just now getting consciousness. The artificial, artificial intelligence is trying to get full consciousness, right? Full synchronicity. So it must slay the dragon. What's that called? Conientio, the bringing together of opposites. Dark light, black white, rich poor, Muslim Christian. Thoth created all the opposites for us to fall into one of these paradigms and feud forever, right? We throw Thoth away. We throw the paradigms away. We throw the opposites away. Thoth, Mercury, even created the opposites to send them on us here to invade us. These opposites are thinking that they're from the creator when they were created by the creator's creation, not the creator personally. 
the creator's creations, Psalms 83 against Israel, created these opposite people and unleashed them on us right here. But they have no melanin and they can't breed forever. So they got to tap back into the source to get more life. That's not natural, my naga. That's conientio, the bringing together of opposites to invade the naga. Naga lace. Lace the naga. This is especially true when representing androgyny. That's Mercury all day. That's the Isu all day. An image of the union of king and queen as a single androgynous guy. That's the Baphomet all day. The supreme serpent brings everything to life, but also kills everything. Kills everything. So it kills it kills the Naga and it brings everything to life that is synthetic, everything that is artificial. I mean, are you seeing the difference between the serpent or the dog, the sinus of phallus, the Anubis and the dragon? In which the living spirit can be extracted, the living spirit of the dragon, the living spirit of what they call a fierce or violent person. This man or woman is a dragon. The living spirit. That's that they're partaking of the flesh against accidents of old age. Now they're no longer old, right? Now they got their own fountain of youth because you are the fountain of youth. The living spirit. Is being extracted, harvested, melanin harvesting, and turn you what? Scientists are making batteries out of melanin. The voltage we got was high. And for the dismount, as promised. <laughs> you know, you got all these links. This is just part one. We'll get back into this, man. We'll keep it going, but. Let's get it from here. Why is melanin black? Well, it's not. It's brown. Remember that. <coughs> and let's, um, they got a couple of chapters on organs. Melanin production in internal organs. What is the potential of melanin? Major organs in the black human that contain higher concentrations of melanin. So I kind of just want to get that part right there and then we'll back to these energy states. I mean, that's very important as well, right? <laughs> G. All right, here, man. Major organs in the black human, right? <laughs> Let's go. Everything exists in nature due to certain controlling factor, the ability of a species to exist comfortably healthy and maintain a certain longevity before death depend on how well nature has prepared and adapted the species to its environment. I mean, you're not being burnt by the sun. You're not being burnt by nature, right? <laughs> if you're being burnt by nature, you might not be an OG creation of the creator. You dig? Let's go. In the case of the black human, nature has been very rewarding. The, re the rewards have been given, again, when I see black, the copper colored Naga, all right? The rewards have been given to the copper colored Naga in the form of the refined chemical melanin located in important areas of the body and surrounding environment. We're talking organs, right? Because of the many attributes that melanin has, the copper colored Naga, is able to experience his world at a constantly higher energy state. Without this, they can't see things like you do. They can't feel what you feel. You are at a higher energy state. That's why you're called gods amongst them. 
That's why they venerate you throughout history. They venerate Solomon. They venerate everybody. Everybody's a God to them, right? That is what is expected by non-black humans. This means that the entire society of copper colored Nagas will be sharped or shaped and experienced from a different perspective. In other words, copper colored Nagas shaping copper color culture will organize a society that is different from one designed by white people. Well, let's talk organs. <laughs> All right, you got the brain. I mean, you know, we're just point, pointing this out. Brain, spinal cord, central nervous system, one of the most important systems, period. This includes the brain, spinal cord, which is a soft column of nerve tissue enclosed within the bones of the spine areas in the brain, spinal cord, where melanin is found, are substantia nigra. <laughs> so when I say my naga, I'm just I'm just saying my substantia nigra. Same thing. The dragon. The naga. The mamba. <laughs> the naga is the dragon. And that's where most of the melanin is going to be found at when you talk about your nervous system or your energy center. Your chakra points. We're talking the dragon. Why are they eating the dragons in Europe? The Ethiopians in Europe. Let's go. So the nagra, the midbrain reticular formation, the ventral tegmental area, the pontine reticular formation, locus coriolis, the uh, glial glands. All right, look it up, man. Parasympathetic and sympathetic nerve fiber, spinal cord. So this system regulates the automatically regulates automatically the smooth muscles and secretory cells of the thoracic and abdominal cavities. The scare includes the muscles of the heart. We're talking organs. We're talking melanin. In other words, the autonomic nervous system regulates breathing, heart action, and movement of the intestines. Uh-oh, you got your pine cone, your pineal gland, your, your pituitary gland, your cartoid body, your thyroid gland. I mean, look them all up. Thymus, adrenal, parathyroid, melanin, 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 dragon, 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 dragon. These are the areas of the highest melanin concentrations. And I guarantee you, on the organ market, these are the most expensive organs on earth. If they can eat they can get their hands on this pine cone. Uh, they'll love to eat this or turn this into a battery. Pituitary, carotid, your brain, your heart. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Heart. So here we go. Melanin is found in the major organs such as Managa. Go look this up. I guarantee this, this is the most expensive organs on the organ market. The ones with the most melanin. So why are we talking melanin harvesting? The same reason we talking organ harvesting. But no one could talk about it, right? It's so, such a high power, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hush, hush thing. In all circles of, of information, nobody wants to talk this, man. Everybody's scared to death to talk this. Heart, liver, gas, gastrointestinal tract, artery, skin, eyes, auditory nerves of the ear. We're talking about the what? The cochlea? <laughs> oh, my nog. Remember the cochlea? Oh, my nog. This is inside your ear. What do you see? It's a spiral. When we tune our music to 432, we're tuning it back to the frequency of the cochlea, the spiral. Four plus three plus two is nine. You see a nine right there, a nine right there, a nine right there. Cochlear implant inserted. So you see they look like a snail. That's inside of your eardrum. So they got our music coming at 440. That's no longer in the spiral. 
what happens when this music connects with the melanin, since we know now that this is a highly melanated area, what happens when that 432 hits this spiral? So whether you like hip hop or not or whatever, come and enjoy the flow and get tuned up or or get your music tuned up to 432, whatever. Hit us up, man. Music at 432 to drop so that we can be in this spiral and allow this to connect to our what? Cochlea. Cochlea. Spiral. Spiral, my naga. Let's go. Let's get it for the dismount right here. So you got the what? Auditory nerves of the inner ear, which is the what? Cochlea. Hey. Spiral. 432. Allow why? For the vision. The testes, the epidemies, the ovaries, all these are the most highly melanated organs. And we'll get more of this particular link. Again, love to my anonymous family on uh that, that just dropped it on my uh email. I appreciate you and you know. Why not talk organs? If these are the most melanated major organs of your body, is this what goes top notch on the organ market? I guarantee it is. <laughs> I guarantee it is. Because like the bro, bro Fresco, come on, fresh what it do. He dropped on us. We're, we're turning up. The price is going up. We definitely on a war path. And we know now for sure, for sure, it's a frequency war. And when that frequency hits us, when that light, when that gamma radiation, when that UV, when that sun hits us, we become superconductors. That's what this battery business is all about. And that's why he that is feeble among them at that day, at that day, when it all goes up, shall be as David. Kyle Fresh also dropped this great a while back. We'll get a piece of it. I think it's one of his favorite scripts, man. Second Baruch 51. Pull it up for the dismount. And it will happen after this day, which I appoint is over, that both the shape of those who were found guilty and also the splendor of those who have proved to be righteous will be be changed they don't know all the structures of melanin right <laughs> for the shape of those who now act wickedly will be made more evil they'll turn back into dog headed men right? than it is now so that they shall suffer torment sign of Sephala. as for the honor and splendor of those who prove to be righteous on account of my Torah, I said, keep the, keep the, keep the commandments. Keep your energy, frequency, and vibration. Keep plugged into your source. Don't let nobody tell you to go through no hijack to get to the creator. Because we don't got time for that shit. We plug directly into the source. Because that's how we came. And that's how we return. Forever. Those who possessed intelligence in their life and those who planted the root of the wisdom in their heart, their honor and splendor will then be magnified, my naga, by transformations, my naga. Do we have an overstanding of this, of the source of the connectivity with the conductors and this transformation and the properties of melanin, the dragon? can be anything. The dragon can be a butterfly or a dragonfly or a big ass fire breathing dragon. If a dragon can be all these things, does it have anything to do with melanin? <laughs> Is that why they are partaking of it against accidents of old age and prolonging their lives? I mean, for real, is that why the living spirit is being extracted? We're just talking about the dragon. We're just talking about the male 
or female. We're just talking about the person, right? The Naga that's being laced by the vaccines, disconnecting us from our GC and our microphage activation. But what's going on at the end of time? We being magnified now, my Naga, by transformations and the shape of their face will be changed into the light. Uh-oh. Anything to do with melanin? Vibration? Resonance? When this gamma radiation or, or this super UV is hitting us, what's going to happen to us? What's going to happen to us? Especially in our frequency. What did Dr. Kara Barnes just say? Melanin takes the bad stuff or anything that's considered bad and absorbs it and transforms it into good. So when we get hit by that greater light, <laughs> We literally get changed into the light of their body so that they may acquire and receive the undying world. So while they're partaking of our our flesh, right, against accidents of old age and prolonging their lives and becoming super smart against accidents of old age. That's what they have to do. They have to consume us to get more life. But my Naga, when you be you, you turn into that light so that your beauty, so that they may acquire and receive the undying world. You are not built to die. There's a world just for you that's called the undying world, my Naga, which is what promised to them. So when that when that radiation or that UV hits you, especially when you have everything intact, you're no longer attacked by the Naga lace. Then there's light that consumes our countenance and we receive the undying world, which is the promise from Hawa. Therefore, especially they who will then come will be sad because they despise my Torah. And stop their ears lest they hear wisdom and receive intelligence when they therefore will see that those over whom they are exalted now will then be more exalted and magnified than they, then both these and those will be changed. Everybody's going to be changed by this greater light that hits the earth. These into the honor and splendor of Malachim, the, the Drakans. And those into startling visions and horrible shapes, and they will waste away even more. You see, my Naga, this greater light is a game changer. What they call gamma radiation or whatever that's that's on the way. <laughs> Whenever these meteors, you know, these comets, these great comets of 1811, all these game changing dragons. That spread the frequency, man, when that frequency hits you. Especially when you're in the groove already. You are the light, my dog. There's nothing you can't do. They will be changed and you will be changed. And you got to choose up so that you're on the right side of this change. Because our creator don't change. Don't switch up. And when he shoots out an arrow, that arrow doesn't have to waver. It hits the target every time. And we are the arrow and we ain't had to switch up and we ain't had to waver. We got the same flow, the same frequency and the same formula. And we've been slicing and dicing for a long time. All praise a while because we're ready for the greater light. We're ready to frequency up. We're ready to be the head, not the tail. Allow a All praise our creator. And we'll be back again, you know, in this great document here. You know, um, everything's connected. Organ, melanin, harvesting. All praise our creator for the greater light. All praise our creator. Allah Hawa, Drop Nation.